Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the disastrous life of Psyche K episode number 13 and 14 reaction. Okay, the previous two episodes. Uh, we met a boy, a new character who is a huge fan of Spider-Man and uh, he saw Psyche kind of flying, trying to fl like you know flying away and stuff like that. So he was like, oh my god, this is Spider-Man and uh, psyche had to kind of like you know like play along with him and <laughs> it was kind of funny to see and then he realized that he's actually lost and psyche had to go along with him and by the end of it he uh, brings him to his uh, mom and uh, he thought that yeah that's it i'll never meet him again oh my god <laughs> the next thing he realizes is that he's his neighbor <laughs> Oh god, that was funny. And then there was also that section where his dad uh, gets help from Psyche. We get to know what his dad actually does. He is like an editor of a manga. I, I think, I, what was the name? I forgot the name of the... Shueisha, wasn't it? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like, you know, like we, we see like you know, Psyche goes to her, his dad's place, workplace, all that stuff. His dad messes up, Psyche helps him out. And in the end, he again messes up, but this time Psyche is like, no. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was that. And uh, then uh, there was the section where we get to realize that we're going to have a school trip very recently. And the next episode, we actually go or, or are in the process of going to the school trip where a lot of things happens. A lot of uh, obstructions come up, which probably gives us like a hint that oh my god the school trip will be cancelled but psyche since he's already there he decides to help everyone out uh even mera who was not being able to go to the school trip because of her, her part-time job and everything she he also helped her out so by the end of it like all the dangers that come in psyche tried to like you know protect everyone from that the, the plane was going to crash but psyche helped everyone out and there you go by the end of it he's tired and he goes outside, goes to sleep, and unfortunately, <laughs> Teru Hashid takes off his limiter, power limiter, and boom, the hotel is gone. Now let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> Alright, this is episode 13. Let's begin. I'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here. Think it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Is this a new opening? Yep. This, op this is episode 13, that's why, okay. Okay. Oh, so these are new characters. Two new characters, okay. <laughs> okay, this. Oh my god. Damn, this opening is. <laughs> well, it's the first time I see him smile. Not the first time, but the second time. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, one thing I realized. In the opening, we see, I think that's probably Psyche's grandma and grandfather. We've not seen them, have we? But the opening showed them in, season, in the first part. <laughs> wow, a lot of new characters, a lot of new characters. I'm sorry, Okinawa okay, school trip. God, <laughs> here we go. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So did he abort it? <laughs> In all likelihood. Whoa! No, no, no. Those are something else. Nah, nah, nah. Exactly. Mm. 
Okay, so he aborted. Exactly, there you go. In the middle of the ocean. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> the way this guy talks. Solve. <laughs> Eight. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> I love the way he talks. Oh, you're back. The, yeah, that was slow. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's, it's terrifying. She... Where is she, however? Where did she go? What? Oh, my God, where is she? Yep, but so yeah, okay, in the middle of the okay, stop. Oh, my God. Uh, this is a dream? Yeah. Yeah, this is a dream. There you go. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, finally I'm popular. <laughs> no, wait. Oh, I think Psyche did something. Psyche did something. Oh God. Yeah, for the time being, he is like the substitution of. Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, this is, um, She thinks this is this is a dream. <laughs> oh my god. The worst nighttime incident in Okinawa. Like can he teleports and say that it's also a dream? Yeah. Oh he has a cooldown time, I forgot, for tele teleporting. Yo. Oh yeah. Oh no. Uh, that's why he cannot do that. Yeah. So. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, what a rocket. Until she falls asleep. Oh, he's doing it. Okay. This won't let her sleep. Oh, no. No, it's not going to happen. Oh no! <coughs> Vorarlberg, Austria. Stop. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, she's feeling sleepy. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. What? I... Oh, wait, th there it is. Wait, what? Oh, I... Okay, that's what he did. <laughs> oh, he, they're already back? Okay. Wait, they're already back? Oh no. Wait, what? Wait, so he went back to his home? <laughs> ah! <laughs> wow. Later. Pineapple farm. <laughs> ah! <laughs> My God. Okay, stop. <laughs> I don't know the leftmost one, I guess. <laughs> Ring shape? Wow, Mira is like Wow. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh my <laughs> You blocking the view. No. Oh, is it there? No, what's happening here? Teruhashi, is that why they're waiting there? Oh my god, I think so. Yep. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What happened? Oh, that's why. Wait, what about Mera then? She's still here. <laughs> no, you don't get those. <laughs> Oh my god. What? Wait, why is she wearing a... <laughs> yeah, she's wearing... <laughs> my god, Yume Hara is like, what the hell? I did so much, so much things. Just... Oh, wow.
Um. <laughs> well, that's not good. Okay. Was that why she he blushed? But I think. Oh my god! <laughs> oh boy. Oh wow. What the hell? Who's <laughs> this? Um, well, we are on a school trip. Her aura is too much. What? <laughs> uh, okay, what? Oh, damn. Oh. Oh no! Oh my god. Ugh, this is not good. <laughs> the music. <laughs> the music stopped. Ugh. Uh. Where are the teachers? Where, where is that guy? I forgot his name. Oh, damn. There you go. Oh, my God. Oh, damn. <laughs> You're the music. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> okay, Psyche, now. Oh, oh, okay, there you go. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> I guess I thank God. Final day, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> uh, did he like snore or something? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, he was saying that while sleeping? <laughs> There's something left. Oh. Oh, coffee jelly, something related to that? Yeah, there you go. Only five per day. Damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have an ally. Oh, talking about Mera? Okay, okay.
okay okay so basically like it came true like she had a mistaken she mistaken that she liked kaido but it's true now oh my god okay <laughs> see you again okinawa school trip hmm coffee anmitsu right now coffee red bean anmitsu there you go <laughs> well <laughs> oh no please stop okay oh no this is a misunderstanding still uh <laughs> oh my god he, she ate all the samples Yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, you have need to pay. <laughs> no. Oh wow, he is... What? It's pro it actually probably costs like 30 yen or something. <laughs> well, he's gone. Hopefully, you better not jinx it. Oh no. Oh, the, the stomach ache came back. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, he also did that again. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, just... Oh my god. Hehehe. <laughs> Oh no. Oh wow, he's here. Well, great. This is amazing. <laughs> you you lose your job. What? Oh no, I, that's not go for me. How? How did okay? <laughs> oh, he realized it. Oh no, did they all eat it? Oh no, they all. Okay. You're dropping it. Wait, what? Okay, that's good. There you go. Happy ending. Okay, that was nice. Yeah, like, he got more of it by the end of it. Okay, this is a new ending.
Oh, is that Nendo? <laughs> okay. Oh, everyone's coming. Okay, this is a really nice song. Wait, who's this? Who was that? Another new character? He was wearing glasses. I've never seen someone like that before in this anime. So uh, I'm guessing he'll be introduced. Okay, that's it. All right, so this episode, we resume from that, um, from, the previous uh, from the previous episode where Psyche aported the whole hotel to like another place <laughs> and um, he realizes what he did and I was thinking he probably aported it but the question was like I was thinking what could he actually aport like he needs like a actual similar valued stuff to aport one thing to the other so I was wondering what could it even cost like a whole hotel they give us our answer he basically aported uh, a shipwreck which has a lot of treasure in it <laughs> which is similar in value to the whole hotel and i guess what he actually did was aported the hotel because i was thinking like you know like how could you even like you know like aport like humans but for for that uh i don't know like one thing i i don't understand how was kokomi aported like for what like you know for what, what uh like in return of what like what could be the equivalent exchange for kokomi that she was apported to the in the middle of that forest i don't understand that however uh for the students in the hotel and the teachers in the hotel i'm guessing he all he did was apport the hotel itself and since they were inside the hotel they also got apported with it most probably or I don't know if that's how it worked. Either way, um, yeah, the the value is similar, I guess, like a, a lot of treasure and a huge hotel. That's how he, they got it. And uh, <laughs> it was so funny to see that guy. What was his name? Um, it's a new character, I think. Uh, I can't find out his name. Just a sec. Where? The way he was talking, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> he was like, wow. <laughs> oh God. Zolbe, there you go, that's his name. <laughs> he, he, he had this kind of like a, the way he was talking was like a foreigner, I guess. You know, the, the way his accent, I would say, was going. <laughs> and he was kind of... <laughs> Talking in such a weird way was so hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. Either way, he's like, oh my god, there's no electricity was happening. And he looks up. <laughs> it's like, let me open the door window. It's so hot over here. Looks outside and there's like a huge ocean. <laughs> he's like, wait a minute. <laughs> Were we able to see the ocean before? And... <laughs> Everyone's was like, no, like you, you were actually complaining because you were not able to see the ocean. So <laughs> he's like, but all I see is the ocean now. <laughs> that, that was hilarious. So later on, as, as the, his friends go and try to check out, Psyche has already apported it back by just, you know, uh, apporting the, the treasure ship back to uh, in the middle of the ocean and you know, just like that. And the hotel situation is resolved, unfortunately. Teruhashi was also gone. Now, so I'm guessing since Teruhashi took it out, the, the thing out, um, that's why she was also apported alongside the, um, the hotel, I'm guessing. Now, I don't, I don't think they mentioned, but what, like, you know, why, why was Teruhashi apported by, like, you know, 
like here you go psyche is saying then just like the hotel she should have switched places with something else too but then there was nothing on the ground around me now calm down it's quicker and and then he decides to use clairvoyance and that's how he goes there but the question doesn't get answered what what could be the thing that she was substituted with or like, you know what what did he apport in this place in return of which Terupa Hashi was gone in, you know, taken to the forest. That that was not answered. I um, I'm I'm kind of really curious, like because there's nothing in beside him. So, anyways, um, <clears throat> so he uses clairvoyance and realized. <laughs> I love when he was using his clairvoyance. Leta <laughs> uh, uh, was like, oh, <laughs> oh, an Ahegao face. <laughs> oh lord anyways um so uh psyche sees that they is in trouble a big bear has come and psyche goes in there and stops the bear and now interesting thing here i think psyche actually probably decided here at this moment that he would have to tell teruhashi about everything and what happened and that he's a psychic or something like that but then when teruhashi was like oh is this a dream Psyche got the idea of using that as an excuse. So if if there was nothing said nothing, Psyche would have probably told her, which is interesting. Like, I guess nothing you at this situation you cannot do anything because I don't know. He could have easily erased her memory, but it would have to be replaced by something else. You know, the, as we saw the when he used the I think Nanana -na -na, that was what it was called. It was replaced by something else. So maybe he didn't want to use it. That's why he thought like, oh, let me just tell her. But then when the convenient excuse of this being a dream came up, he was like, all right, let's go with that then. <laughs> so, oh, I think, oh, I realized, I think why he, I was thinking, why was he not thinking about erasing her memory? Probably because he did not have his control thing in his head. So he thought that if I used that power, it would probably just wipe out all her memory. Like there was a chance that could have happened, you know, because his power could not be controlled at that moment. So that was the reason why I think he decided that not to use his memory wiping technique. Like, you know, he, he might actually just wipe out her whole memory and it would be just, a, it would be a disaster. To avoid that, he thought that maybe I'm, I have to tell her. Okay, yeah, yeah, I think, I think that was probably the reason why he decided to tell her. But, you know, as I said, a convenience ex excuse came up. It was a dream. And Teruhashi, like, this kind of shows how <laughs> Teruhashi always dreams about Psyche. That's why even this time she was like, oh, this must be a dream. Like, <laughs> oh, God. Either way, on the other hand, Kai, uh, not Kaido, sorry, uh, Reta was made to be seen as Teruhashi and Psyche did that so to keep all of them all the all the other girls in bay so that they don't understand like you know they don't freak out where Teruhashi is <clears throat> so obviously uh Reita, at first Reta was like what the hell I'm going to be popular with the guys I don't want that but then he realized like what this means that he could actually go to the room the girls room and <laughs> It was just, you know, like typical Reta acting like him. Either way, um, <clears throat> on the other side, the Psyche and Teruhashi were there and Teruhashi was like, oh, so this is a dream, I can do anything. Let me squeeze Psyche's chick or see like, if I can do something else. And Psyche here was kind of thinking about how he could easily make her unconscious, but he actually fears that his power is uncontrollable now, so he might just completely chop off her neck. So, or something like that might happen. So he was just sitting still, doing nothing. Now, <clears throat> Teruhashi is like, okay, so this is a dream. So I, whatever I'll think is going to happen. And <laughs> at first he was like, I, I wish I was in a castle. Like he obviously was not like, you know, doing anything. But then when Teruhashi was like, wait a minute, so is this not a dream? Psyche probably realized that it would be a lot more trouble if she realized that this is not a dream. <laughs> so he decided to take her to the castle. I think he teleported them to uh, uh, to a crack castle, yeah. And uh, Vorarlberg, Austria, that's where he teleported them. And <laughs> Teruhashi was like, all right, I can make Psyche say, oh, oh, 
you know the 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 noise that everyone makes when they are just entranced by teruhashi she she definitely wants saiki to say that and <laughs> she, like she was so oh my god like she was so pushy at this moment she was like yeah this is a dream i can do whatever the hell i want to so i knew saiki would not obviously would not say that because he has his pride like we've seen that so <clears throat> when saiki said i was like what's happening why did he say that like you know like, he was not supposed to say that as far as i like you know have judged him by his personality but then i realized okay that's actually reta because saiki i think saiki teleported him and at the same time he also uh, made the hypnosis so teruhashi thinks that's saiki so after listening listening to that ohu she went to sleep and saiki got her his thing the the thing put it on his head and there you go next day teruhashi is like oh my god i had a strange day in dream <laughs> well everyone else is like you know having their breakfast so now it's the time to go to the i think beach yeah so yumehara is very happy yumehara is like all right my uh like you know my effort is going to pay off now you know like i've like you know, not eaten sweets i've not like you know every day i went to jogging this and that like you know like it's perfect my figure is perfect now so and after they reach the beach everyone's just waiting for um uh not teruhashi did i just say teruhashi no sorry yumehara oh god i mixed their names up yumehara was very excited but teruhashi as always teruhashi is like you know just like always she's like ah it's 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 obvious everyone is going to like you know flock around me <laughs> but yeah teruhashi comes out and uh, everyone's just like like she had such an aura everyone just got just annihilated <laughs> in front of her uh, like in a meter uh, in a meter of radius <laughs> now obviously yume uh, hara yume hara is like oh my god i you know like I, I cannot go outside now after teruhashi going there like everyone's not even going to look at me so she goes outside you know like and everyone's like oh here you are <laughs> she's like why did i not get a spatial sequence for me teruhashi got these sparkles around her or why why not me <laughs> oh my god and <clears throat> And uh, Mera also comes out, and Mera's like wearing like a school uh, swimsuit, which is probably probably because she is you know like she doesn't have enough money. That's probably why she was not able to buy a proper swimsuit. She probably just used the one that she had from her previous school or something. And uh, <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, oh my god, Mera is also you know. <laughs> now. <laughs> Yumehara is like, oh my god, like, you know, no one's looking at me. And then Kaido comes in, and Kaido is like, okay, can you, we'll go to swim. And I, like, you know, when, when he looked at her, she, she was kind of blushing, and Yumehara was like, oh, finally, someone. And then in come Teruhashi, and <laughs> Kaido does like four backflips. <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. Now, oh my god, in comes these dudes just trying to pick them up, and, um, Obviously, they're like talking to Teruhashi and they're like, oh, come with us. Let's, let's get some shaved eyes. <laughs> oh, God. And Psyche was thinking like, okay, let's, like, I'm going to do something. Uh, but in comes Kaido, which is obviously like, you know, very good of him. Like, we, we've seen him before. Like, you know, he's, he's, he's a nice person. So he always tries to like, you know, like help someone in need. So there you go. He, he just came. And he's like, oh, don't bother them. And these guys, obviously, they are a lot more, like, you know, stronger than him. And they're like, ah, what are you doing? Like, you know, like, get out. We're not talking to you. And he kind of goes back. And then y Yumehara comes in. And Yumehara is like, uh, no, do, like, no, stop this. Like, obviously, he tries to stop them. And they... <laughs> Like obviously they they're like oh like we're not talking to you and they again try to bother Teruhashi, Kaido punches them. <laughs> I love the fact that <laughs> they were like oh my god you hit me and they're like wait a minute, this doesn't hurt. What happened? <laughs> Saiki tweaked a little bit, and he just made like you know the 
the the pain to manifest a little bit later not later but there was no pain but he just made the pain manifest in their in his cheek and <laughs> they freaked out and ran away obviously yumehara was like you know like in her dream world again and he was she was just looking at kaido and she's like oh my god this is my prince <laughs> And Psyche is like, thank God, at least one person is off my back now. <laughs> she'll be, she'll be like, you know, like um, involved with uh, Kaido from here onwards, uh, and not me. <laughs> you know, she won't bother with me now. So, <laughs> oh my God! But obviously, Teruhashi is still uh, like, you know, like trying for Psyche. So that's one thing. Okay, so that's where it that whole section ends and in the next section we get to see Psyche wants to eat the shaved ice with coffee Anmitsu beans I think that's what it was called and he wants to eat that but his friends that is Kaido and uh, um, uh, hey what, what was his name oh my god wait I forgot his name Nendo! Oh, my God. <laughs> For a moment, I forgot his name. Nendo. Uh, and the, both of them were kind of talking about how each of the other was sleeping. Like, Nendo was like, oh, you, your face was covered with uh, the blanket and it was creepy and you were talking about some weird stuff. And Al Qaeda was like, oh, same to you as well. You were snoring so much and your face was so scary. I wasn't even able to <laughs> wake you up. And Psycho was like, oh my god, these two, I need to actually lose them. And he's like, okay, for the girls, I have a person there who is going to keep them busy, which is Mera. Because obviously Mera, like, you know, is going to try to eat all the food and that's how, what's going to keep them busy. As we were seeing, you know, Mera was stuffing her face with the free samples. <laughs> these two, like Teruhashi and Yumehara was just standing there. Now, so interesting that, you know, like, actually... You know, the whole misunderstanding, the, the whole comedy of the misunderstanding was that Teruhashi thinks that uh, Yumehara likes Kaido, while Yumehara thinks that Teruhashi likes Nendo. So, that was the whole comedy of the whole situation, you know? Like, oh, the whole misunderstanding, that was funny. It's so interesting how one of those, um, like, you know, things became actually true, where Yumehara actually likes Nendo, uh, actually likes Kaido now so yeah like that's crazy and that's why Teruhashi when he she said that oh you like him and she was like oh how did you know well this actually became true now because he really likes him now that that was that was that was really interesting to see so half of the misunderstanding is over other half is still there <laughs> You, uh, Teruhashi was like, oh, you can go ahead, you know, like, I'll, I'll, tr I'll try to be with Mera, like, you know, you, you want to uh, catch up with the boys, don't you, because you want to, you know, go along with Kaido, and <laughs> Yumehara was like, oh, how did you know, and then she was like, I also know who you like, and here we go, the misunderstanding again, <laughs> when she was going to say you like Nendo, Teruhashi obviously stopped her, and she was like, oh, don't say that, don't say the name. And the misunderstanding still is there. Half of it is there. So, wow. <laughs> now, all of that was happening while Psyche was like, okay, I need to actually ditch these two. So, first of all, Nendo gets um, her, his attention uh, uh, taken by some, some souvenirs, some shirt, t-shirts and stuff. While Kaido is looking at some stuff, those, those overpriced... Uh, weird souvenirs that they were like you know that 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 shop the cust uh, shopkeeper was like oh this is like thirty thousand yen I'm gonna give you for three thousand yen <laughs> while in reality it probably costs like three hundred yen or something and like that's how they completely just like, fool people <laughs> and obviously Kaido was like oh you're so making it so cheap that's so nice like it's so funny because this is something that actually happens in real life whenever like you know. You kind of shop, like an online shopping or whatever, like you know, in like in maybe in like a department store or whatever, and the price is written like seventy percent off, and you're like, damn, seventy percent off, that's a good bargain. Let me just grab it. While <laughs> in reality, that that's all just not true. Like it's, it's so funny, you know. 
like these type of situations like we're looking at kaido here and we're like haha he's like you know he like you know he, he got fooled by this person but we as well i guess sometimes also gets fooled like this similarly at least i have you know like not a fool i would say but it kind of tricks us into thinking like oh damn this is so like an expensive but they're giving so much discount i better grab it quickly otherwise the discount might go away so that type of a you know thing mental like mental thing and it's so funny that like you know it, at least i also fell for it multiple times and <laughs> now seeing this in front of us and like yeah he got fooled but the same happened to me as well anyways enough about that oh uh, god so <clears throat> they were like, kind of uh, involved with that psyche decides to go away you know and try to go his uh, get his uh, coffee uh, shaved ice thing and uh, one after the other like you know obstructions come up number one uh, takahashi's stomach ache starts again and like was like i'm not going to do anything this time but everyone's like oh go bring the teacher and psych is like fine goes and brings the teacher here and uh, then in comes teruhashi's brother oh my god like ah uh, so crazy like this guy this like <laughs> like the way he oh god anyways um yeah i, I don't think i need to say anything about him but yeah, we, we are seeing what he's doing. He's just here. He's just like, oh my god, Teruhashi, I, I need to find her. Where is she? Uh, and Psyche uses hypnosis and he gets, like, you know, like, <laughs> hugs one of those girls from the, uh, the class. And they're like, oh my god, this is the world, like, you know, the, the famous actor. Give me an autograph. And that's how he, like, you know, actually removes that obstruction, this guy, the Teruhashi's brother, from Psyche's. Like, you know like vicinity so then psyche finally arrives at the place and as soon as he opens the door <laughs> everyone's there they're like oh psyche how are you like you know what are you doing here and psyche is just blank face staring at them and like it's like fine like you know they're here it's no problem let me get my like, you know thing and he orders it and it's all gone because these five have ordered already ordered it Psyche is pissed off, but you know what? The funny thing and the good thing that happens here, like everyone's like, all right, get, let, get, like, you know, here's something from me. And from five of them, they give quite a good chunk of the stuff to Psyche. And by the end of it, we see it ends up being Psyche who gets the most. And this, this is such an interesting portion, which shows, like, this is basically the whole show, I think, this one little section in the end. This is basically the whole theme of the show where psyche always tries to like you know keep himself away from these type of uh, situations like you know like friends and everything like he, he wants to just be alone and uh, like you know be happy like that he doesn't want anyone else bothering him and this and that but somehow or the other kind of gets roped up into all the friends shenanigans and antics and he also helps them out as well and everything but by the end of it it shows how having friends is so much better than not having any. Like, I think that's the main thing of the show, where Psyche always wants to be alone, while everyone, all of his friends, doesn't let him be alone. Which Psyche, it seems he doesn't like it, but by the end of it, he enjoys their company, you know. So, that's basically it. And in the end, we see how, you know, like he, like, you know, the end result is actually better, where which is shown by this section where the end result that is the ice cream that he gets by the end of it is a lot more than his friends which shows how you know it's better to have friends that not have any that type of a thing that i'm just trying to say that you know like that that's like i think like that's like the main theme of the show and that was shown so beautifully in the final section and we see psyche smile in the end and he's like ah this is not bad <laughs> oh god all right um the next one that was episode number uh 13 yeah let's start with episode number 14 just a sec so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go
Yeah, yeah, that guy is a new character. The guy with the glasses. Oh my god. Um, something happened? <laughs> I was like, what's happening? Why did it freeze suddenly? Sometimes happen, it happens to my PC, like it kind of gets a little bit stuttery. Okay. Sup homies outside what is this title? <laughs> oh. Oh is, is it that guy, the glasses guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, yep, there you go. That's the guy. That's the guy. Why? He, he looks okay. What? He looks cool. Oh, why? Oh my god. Aren't. Kuboyasu. Wait, is he like a delinquent or something? Is it like a yak? No. There you go, delinquent. Wait, what? <laughs> ah. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> really, that's him? Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> Good bitch. Oh no. Okay. Well, <laughs> oh, he's here, <laughs> Nando. Oh, no, <laughs> killing time. <laughs> Wow. Okay. What? No, you're not. Yeah. Okay, what did he do? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Wait, who's this? Uh, 
Oh boy. Oh! <coughs> oh no. <laughs> Yeah, this is a necessary. Yeah. Oh my god. It's been a week. Oh. Um, no. Apparently. What is. <laughs> okay. Who? Weak looking guy. Oh, Psyche. Oh my god. Wow. I've been. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh no, here we go. <laughs> no, this is not reg what regular people say. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> They're talking about two different things. Wow. Oh lord, here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no, he's going to go. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wow, Hyra's here. <laughs> you... There you go, he has friends. Yeah, if you go with him, a lot of you'll get a lot of friends. Okay. Hmm. Oh, yo! <laughs> He's like, oh, this. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Huh? Psyche? Psyche, isn't it? Oh no, sorry, not Psyche. Sorry, what am I even saying? Nendo. Oh no, it's going back to Psyche. <laughs> ah! Yeah, everyone knows him. There you go. <laughs> what? Psychic power devil? I think it's Teruhashi, probably. Mr. and Mrs. Nendo together. Why is he leaking? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh, it's, it's a mom. There you go. Vicky. Stop! <laughs> Even your voice is the same. That's true. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, do <laughs> He just wants to be better friends. He's like, yeah, he's like, this is some, oh my god. <laughs> 17 years. Yeah, he is. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Let's see. Wow. <laughs> oh okay 44 seconds oh wow that's um 44 seconds yeah and it'll be <laughs> and it'll be just like you know like she's his kid so Oh my god. Yep, it's gone. I don't think he has departed. Eh? Ah! <laughs> yeah, he's still there, obviously. Like, his wish is not fulfilled, so... Oh! Ah, oh, Mira's here. His <laughs> face. <laughs> oh no. Oh wait, okay. Oh my god, the manager might actually... That happens. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. Don't say that. Oh no. He might. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I was saying that. Yeah, she wants to sponsor money. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh no. I just wanna pay. How? <laughs> oh. oh my god, no, yeah. One yen. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. Twenty yen. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't think it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he's gone. Okay. Mm. Mm, there you go. Yeah, like it. I. <laughs> Yeah, like if this becomes like a maid cafe, it'll be completely like you know different thing. Hmm. No. Yep. <laughs> there you go. I knew it. A theft case. Guilty on Oh my god, it's the brother. It's the brother again. That's the brother, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was just saying that. <laughs> oh no, is it is it the brother? No, it's not the brother. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> ah. ah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah? Wow! Oh? It's on the... No! Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh. Yeah. 
Yo, your hand. Your hand. Yes. Ah. Uh... <laughs> oh wait, did he break the vase or something? And Master Zaki is taking the. I think so. Like Master Zaki is taking the responsibility for that. No, not took, but he probably broke it or something. What? Really? Wait, what? Yeah. There you go, they broke it. There you go, I was correct. What about the uh, window then? Who broke it? Yeah. Oh, did he abort it? Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that was good. Ah. Okay, that is the end. Yep. All right. So today's episode, uh, this episode, um, <clears throat> we begin with a new transfer student. His name is Aren Kobayasu or Aren Kubo? No, Kubo. Is it Kubo? No, he, he misspelled it. Okay. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, it is Iron Kuboya, so that's his name. Okay. <laughs> he wrote Iron Kuboya so who's here. You know the way like delinquents talk. So that's why everyone like is like, what the hell? What is this? <laughs> okay. So now here's the thing. I like and everyone was so excited at the beginning. I, I'm, I'm talking about the girls. When he came in, and everyone's like, ah, oh, looks gloomy, this and that. I'm like, what? Like, you know, he he like you no, know, like generally speaking, he looks cool. He's like one of those characters with the glasses, you know, like and who looks like like mysterious or something that type of character so i was like what <laughs> like he <laughs> that was crazy i was not expecting all the girls i was expecting the girls to be like oh my god like this is so good like you know like he's so good looking or something like that but no they're like oh he's so good yeah like anyways <laughs> ah so <laughs> kubeyasu aren okay uh, aren kubeyasu i i'll probably forget his name I need to remember it. Um, <clears throat> as soon as the way he was talking, I was like, oh my god, is I, he's either like a delinquent or he's like somehow related to the Yakuza or something like that. And um, there you go. Like, he is 
a delinquent a, a, a former delinquent you would say um he God. he says my old man was the head of a biker gang my old lady was the head of a women's gang <laughs> that's why you know like he's he has all the like things of like a delinquent and he talks about how his hair was always kind of like, a little bit elongated in this type of thing i guess that's like the main thing about delinquents in most of the animals that we've seen uh is like obviously a lot of them has like a pompadour you know their hair kind of is like up until this part it kind of like you know is there and obviously since psyche uh like you know, since its show loves to parody these type of situations they made it even a little bit comedic by saying like oh my uh like you know like my hair grew up until my neck previously but then it grew more and more and more and there's a time when it actually touched the ground and i accidentally stepped on it and then i realized like i don't want to be a delinquent anymore it's so annoying to have this hair that's why I decided to become a normal person. Like that's his backstory. Oh wow. <laughs> oh god. Anyways, he's like, okay, so I should become one of the goodies. They were calling that looking by the normal people just calling them by that, the goodies or whatever. <laughs> and whenever like, like one person goes past him and he's like looking at him weirdly. And then another person kind of like uh, just bumps into him and he just was almost taking out the um, uh, fire extinguisher and going to whack him with it. So obviously these are like his um, habits, which he has been always accustomed to doing, you know, like he's always fighting with others and everything. So this is actually something that he's so accustomed to do that he can't even control his own self. And like he's realizing by the end of it and he's like oh my god i should stop like i should become like one of the normal person those goodies like you know like these <laughs> these people here like you know like they don't fight like this so he's trying to calm himself down and in comes nendo i think the first one who comes yeah and he's like oh an, an opponent like you know this guy he's, he's like my one of uh, the delinquents of this school and he's like, should I show some of my, like, you know, like, you know, like, should I show him some of, some of my fighting techniques or something? He was talking, thinking about that, thinking about fighting him. And Nendo was like, I did a lot of bad things, you know, you know like, <laughs> that's why they call me the um, delinquent of this place. And <laughs> Aren, Aren, I think that was his name. He's like, uh, what stories are? Okay, tell me what those are. And he's like, there was once a time I used a mosquito, uh, like, you know, the repellent thing to, <laughs> to, to chase a mosquito. And there was one time when I ate up all the watermelon. That's bad. And Arun <laughs> is like, what? <laughs> Psyche in the behind back is monologuing. He's like, ah, he's just stupid. Don't worry about him. <laughs> oh my god. Now, you know this this whole section what it made it it, it had that that whole thing about you know like that that meme what was it called the whole thing about being like you know like people talking about something and saying like oh i did something bad and then them talking about one of the most normal things that they did and everyone is like wow that's crazy dude that type of a thing and i think that there was a meme i remember it was like the whole mad lad kind of thing that theme like a meme i think it was like a thing before i remember there was like a meme that came up it, this whole, whole section reminded me of that so much like the way Kai, uh, nendo was talking about oh i did something bad and he talks about something that's so random and normal <laughs> uh anyways um and he's like uh, wanna be like you know wanna be uh yankee like you know he's just annoyed rn and he tries to go on his own way but then he actually comes across an actual uh delinquent who's trying to extort money from someone and <laughs> obviously he's annoyed he's like ah, i'm going to show him and almost not almost but he actually i think he hits him doesn't he yeah yeah, he bashes him with the locker, I think. <laughs> and the guy who has been extorted money from, Aaron is like, don't you dare tell anyone what I did here. <laughs> oh my god. 
either way that was that and now he is at his class and he's like oh i don't have any friends here no one's talking to me and he looks at everyone he's like okay who should i become try to be friends with looks at nendo and he's like ah he's 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 too stupid i cannot goes to the things about takahashi i think that's the name of the the green afro guy and he's like ah he looking at his face makes me want to punch it i cannot become his friend and then he looks at Psyche and he's like, okay, this person looks like a decent person. Let me just go and talk to him. <laughs> he goes to him and starts talking about some Yakuza stories or something. <laughs> some movie or something. And Psyche is like, for God's sake, leave me alone. And Psyche is like, okay, I'm going to show my very rare annoyed face that, so that he goes away. And he gives him that face. And Aaron is like, all right, I'm going away. He leaves and in comes Kaido. <laughs> I love this part so much. Both start talking about something completely different. Kaido's talking about something like some Grand Cross Dark Reunion stuff. While. <coughs> What's his name? Um, Aaron is talking about something completely different. He's like Grand Cross, a biker gang from formed led and led by Daizaburo Arashiyama 25 years ago. It's the first group that conquered North Kanto area. But after Arashiyama died in a sudden accident, a series of internal conflicts ensured and it disappeared. However, the legend continues to be passed on even until today. Like these, this, what he's thinking this and he's like, oh really, you know about that? And Kaido's like, yeah, I know about it. <laughs> and the way he says everything and both of them are talking about something completely different but they're still kind of connecting with each other <laughs> that was so funny and uh, anyways um <laughs> he's going back and he's like i'm glad i find someone who shares things common with me i i don't know if this whole misunderstanding is going to continue in the future episodes as well but it'll be hilarious if like you know both things that they're talking about something completely different and this whole misunderstanding is so funny i i feel like it this should continue in the future episodes as well it'll be hilarious to see them interact in the future as well either way he's going and okay he meets uh reta now and obviously this guy is like oh hey dude how are you doing like you know what what girls do you like you know obviously typical him and he starts talking about uh, you know like what school he went to and this and that and as soon as he says that i went to a boy's school he's like leaves just leaves <laughs> and it's like this guy like you know, all this chasing girls like 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 i'm never going to become like him and in comes Teruhashi and he's like, oh, you know that, the, the, tip, the thing that everyone does as soon as he, they comes across Teruhashi's aura. <laughs> and oh my god. And Teruhashi is like, oh, how are you? Like, you're in the same class. I hope you remember me. Uh, we, like, you know, like, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Bye. And just goes away. And she's like, yeah, another person you know, who's obviously charmed by me. And Aren is like, yeah, I'm going to tattoo her name to my biceps. And then he meets Hiro. And this was interesting where we can see like, you know, uh, obviously Hiro's like doing his, his crunches and everything and his sit-ups. And uh, <clears throat> he was like, oh my God, who's this weirdo? And he tries to go away and he sees that everyone's like, kind of flocking to him because it's like everyone's his friend. And he's like, okay, maybe he's a person who if I interact with will become friends. Everyone will be my friends. He goes and tries to interact with him. And uh, okay, where is that part? Okay, um, Hyro says something like, okay, should, like, you know, will, will we have like a match or something like that? He says, like, like a competition. And Iron was talking about thinking about okay, I'm going to show him some of my techniques. Or everyone else was like, oh, I don't think he do, does sports or these type of things. Like, don't bother him. Something like that. Where Hyro says that don't judge people by how they look or you know. So that's not a good thing to do. Which after listening to that, he's like, oh my god, this guy. He's like my previous leader. He said the same thing. And he's like, finally, I got a person who is actually worthy of 
talking to and or worthy of respect and then they can kind of handshake each other and <laughs> Hyro is like I'm actually training to defeat someone and he's like okay like this person he wants to defeat someone who is that it's Nendo and he's like oh my god it's this guy and Nendo starts calling Psyche as you know the way he always does like and he calls him Aibo which is like partner that type of a thing and he's like wait a minute who is this guy calling his partner he goes and sees Psyche and sees that everyone's going and you know surrounding him and he's like damn you know this guy everything just came and circled towards him and now I'm back to square one this probably like you know i guess uh, earned a little bit of rest like you know he, he uh, psyche's uh, not psyche's but uh, his respect arin i think that's his name his respect psyche gained a little bit of his respect and probably a recognition and he probably from the future he will try to interact with psyche more and uh, something like that and you know the whole interesting thing about this section um him like, you know, like the thing that Hyro says about not judging others by how they look. This also kind of shows that, he, you know, like obviously he did not judge Psyche. I'm not saying that. But, you know, he kind of thought that, oh, this person is a very normal type of a person. But now he's seeing that everyone's flocking to him and he is like, you know, like, like the main, like the main character or something like that. So, you know, this, this also kind of shows how... Again, don't judge a book by a cover is also applied in this situation as well. He never d b even thought that Psyche would be that person who everyone flocks to. But there you go. He's seeing that now. So just something that I noticed. And yeah. anyways, that was that. The next part. Oh, my God. This was one of the most funniest part of this episode, I think. Uh, <laughs> Nindo's dad. <laughs> you know, they go to their... Um, to his grave to like you know, to give some offerings and his mom is also there and obviously psyche kaido and kaido is always mistaking the mom for the like you know like for nendo while nendo for uh, his mom vice versa and <laughs> the dad is following them and the dad is just like oh my god these two look so similar that's so funny haha <laughs> while psyche is like you are also looking you're also the similar uh you also look the same so interesting thing we knew that he lost his um what's the thing uh, lost his memory but i did not realize that he did not know that his face looks the same as them which makes so much sense because he's a ghost now obviously his reflection will not come up in a mirror so he has no way of understanding that he has the same face as these two and he doesn't even remember that they're his wife and his kids uh, and his kid so yeah like that that's that's probably why he's so confused he's like oh my god like you know why do i feel so familiar with like you know, such a familiarity with them and why do i want to go with them uh, he also went to their house and he's like looking around everywhere <laughs> but most of the time he is kind of like you know like just he looked at his his own picture and he's like ah his dad also looks the same as him and psyche is like he's you so that's the whole thing over here i knew this was something like this was going to happen because this is you know like his wife so i knew he probably would like you know you know start liking the mom because you know like when he was alive he was his wife so that's why i was not that much surprised when he suddenly get got up and he's like oh my god that lady i i like him her i want to say that I want to confess. <laughs> and uh, now this kind of went in, an, in, a, in, a, in a kind of a different direction. Like while all of this is happening, obviously um, uh, Kaido is doing his own thing, looking at the books, you know. <laughs> uh, while Psyche decides to help him out so that he can pass on. He takes out Nendo's uh, spirit, I would say, and put his spirit in Nendo's body he goes there and tries to confess but unfortunately 44 seconds is up bef uh, before that and he just gets forcefully to get taken out now in this moment I was thinking like okay if Nendo goes like it's obviously Nendo it's, he's doing this in Nendo's body 
if Nando goes there and he says like, oh mom, uh, like you know, like you know, like confesses, like it's Nando's body. Every, like you know, his mom would probably like be like, oh, it's my child. Like you know, it's, he's, that's why he's telling me I I like it. Like you know, I I like you. That type of a thing. So I was thinking like it it wouldn't be a problem, you know. And he like you know, his dad would also have. Uh, being able to confess like you know like it, it'll be it'll be okay you know like there'll be no problem here but none of that happened <laughs> he, he got forcefully ejected out before he was even able to say that so unfortunately like Saiki thought that he's probably has been passed on because his wish came true but his wish did not come true he wasn't able to confess so I'm guessing that is the reason why he's still here now i heavily doubt i don't know like and i heavily doubt i think that even if he confesses he'll probably still be here like i don't know there must be something that's probably keeping him like you know just attached to to earth you know like like some kind of a shackle that's probably binding him to this mortal realm which we don't know like you know we do know that he he saved um you know like he saved uh, someone. Who did he save? I, oh my god, I forgot. He saved someone, I remember. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like he's also uh, um, Reta's guardian spirit. So the reason why he's here, we still don't, do not have the full explanation. I think it's probably something to do with his accident. I don't like usually this story like you know, this anime is basically just jokes and everything but I feel like there is something serious or some kind of a thing that's going on with his dad like some kind of a actual serious reason why he's still here I don't know or maybe I'm completely wrong or maybe it is like some kind of a it has no such deeper thing but who knows maybe that was that the next part, we see the coffee shop uh, where he goes, uh, uh, Psyche goes to get his coffee yellow, is in a bit of a problem because in front of them, another shop has like, opened, which is taking away the customers. And the manager is like, oh my god, like, what's going to happen? And I knew this would be a problem for, I thought that Psyche is going to help them in a lot of ways. Because if this shop ends, like, you know, stops, like, you know, the, is, is over, the business goes down, his coffee shallow, where will he get them? So that's why I was thinking, like, and, like, you know, he, something like, he was going to probably help. But interestingly, nothing that sort happened. In the end, we see how he himself come to a conclusion. So basically what happens is, at the beginning, he was like, oh, you know, they're taking away my customers. And I love the fact that Mera was like, like don't worry even if this shop goes down i'll probably just go there i'll need to remember remember their menus and the the manager is like what the hell like this this shop is not even uh like you know closed and you're thinking already thinking about going to the other shop <laughs> that was really funny i was not expecting mayor to say that which makes sense you know obviously like you know if the, if the shop goes down like she needs to earn her livelihood so yeah like nothing you can do about it but the best scenario here is the shop doesn't go down so they were thinking of multiple sections how to change the shop first the first thing that he he thought is like uh, not he but uh, Mira was talking about is like changing the prices reducing them and uh, not by much but by like one yen or something which would always put like 399 yen like that actually does work you know like like you think about it you're like ah what's like you know what's the difference 399 and 400 yen it's the same thing but it does work you know like when you look at it like it's like a 399 and you're like hmm this looks cheap even though it's not cheap it's like one yen lesser so yeah this is like a like a whole marketing strategy that works wonders actually so it was a good idea to actually do that <laughs> Uh, but then he's like, no, I'm not going to uh, reduce the uh, money even by one yen. <laughs> yen, my business pride is speaking here. <laughs> but he has no problem in increasing it. <laughs> that was funny. Anyways, um, then he comes up with an idea of the whole maid cafe thing. Now, 
I think this is the section when Psyche probably was like, oh my god, if they actually make this a maid cafe, this whole thing will kind of be bad because this is the thing, you know, like this is so much true in multiple section, not only in this type of a situation, but so many situations changing what you do, you know, like here in this cafe, they are like, you have the usual ambience, calm, like in a cool place and that whole thing. And the regulars who come here and everyone, they're attracted to that. That's why they come here. So if you suddenly change this to a maid cafe, a lot of people will come, you know, like, or may not come, who knows. But at the same time, the ambience will go down and uh, the section about, um, not sections, the, the, the people who come here will probably be disappointed, which is kind of bad in a different way, you know, like, not only here, this is so much true in so many different things as well. For example, um, one very good example I can say is YouTube. Like a lot of channels, we have some channels for something, you know, the way they start. And uh, each channel covers a single or one or two topics. Suddenly, if they change from that thing to something completely else, it'll be a disaster. Few people will obviously come in, but most of the people who were there for the stuff they did are going to go away, which is kind of a bad thing. Like, for example, my channel is for anime, you know, like if I suddenly start making videos on something completely different, for example, mm, I don't know, like, like, uh, maybe, maybe like, uh, I, I, I wouldn't say games because I think gaming would also work pretty well. In, in this channel because game anime they're kind of interrelated I'm, i kind of this most people i've seen like people who watch animes a lot of people watch play games as well so that's not how it like you know, like nothing much is going to happen i think but if i change this to complete like an educational channel there you go that's a better example like from anime to educational channel if i do that <laughs> that'll be disastrous you know like obviously like that's how everything goes you know like this is the same situation like that like if they change this to a maid cafe you know the regulars will obviously go away they won't come back people might new people might come in but it'll take them that amount of effort and time to gain that respect and that reputation that they already have with what they're doing now you know they're, they're, that's just going to, what's going to happen like for five years or something probably they are keeping this cafe uh, ongoing i think I, I don't remember what, how many years but something like that so the amount of reputation and the things that they have gotten from this amount of time all of that will be just gone the people who has a like a respect the regulars re the reputation that they have gotten all those people are not going to come back and the new people who are going to come you have to start anew with them and get like, you know, like their uh, respect, their reputation, and it'll take a lot of time to get them accustomed to it, which is usually not a good idea in these type of situations. For example, Psyche, as Psyche said, you know, like when he was talking about how to do the maid cafe thing, and Psyche was like, oh, this shop is going to go down. He said that because he knew that's probably what's going to happen. Because and at this moment, you know, like experimentation like this is not good at all. Thankfully, the manager realized and he's like, no, like, you know, he re remembered about Psyche and he's like, there are people who come here and who, who love us for what we are. So we should not change at least. And uh, yeah, that was, that was like good. The next part is the whole detective section. Kaido uh, is uh, hooked about a, like, you know, like a show, like a Joker, the magic detective or something who is played by um, Teruhashi's brother. That's why Psyche is not happy about that. <laughs> Does not watch the show. Either way, he's hooked with that. So when they go to school, certain thing happened, a glass broke, you know, like, and uh, that Vavas is missing. So he gets into the whole, his whole detective mode, starts uh, deducing stuff. And <laughs> I love the fact how he's like, oh, someone must have actually stolen that, you know? And Psyche is like, everyone knows that. <laughs> and he's like, from here on, everything's for the police. <laughs> oh boy. Either way, you know, they, they go more deeper into the investigation where they talk about how, like, you know, like, you know, someone, at first they said someone from the outside broke it, 
Lecrone took the vase and ran away. But then they talk about the glass, which is like from the inside. And uh, so someone from the inside did it. And they start talking about Matsuzaki and how he is the one who did it and all. But then in comes Takahashi. And looking at his, uh, you know, the bandages, everyone's like, oh, he must be the one who stole it. Or something like that. They start talking about all of this. I, as soon as I saw the bandages, I realized what happened. I knew it was probably something like uh, he broke the vase and uh, he was probably trying to pick it up and cut his hand. Masuzaki saw that and Masuzaki said, is t I, I thought that Masuzaki is taking the responsibility for him. Like I thought like Masuzaki is saying something like, oh, I was the one who broke it. That's why he went to the principal's office. That's not completely true. He's not taking the full responsibility, but he's saying that I'm going to go and apologize alongside you. You have to take responsibility. That's a small little mistake that I made. But other than that, I deduced it perfectly. I knew it was something like that. And there you go. By the end of it, we see that's what actually happened. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they apologized to us, to the principal. And so the question is here, which I did not know what it was like you know the, i didn't even i wasn't able to deduce that part which is kind of impossible to deduce deduce that who broke the glass then which psyche explains to us he was the one who broke the glass he apported the umbrella with a ball and the ball just went and just broke the glass and that was yeah <laughs> that was funny that was it that was my reaction to uh, episode number 13 and 14 of uh, the disaster site of Psyche K. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to this channel, or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of the disaster life of Psyche K. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.